Hi, this is a very interesting chart. So just bear with me as I explain it because it will help you understand your investments a lot better. These are the highest contribution stocks in the S&P 500 for June. So please notice the total return, that's TR, that's 14.74 for Apple. Microsoft had a total return of 11. Amazon 12.96. But the next column, it's contribution to the return of the stock market. 36.8%, or we'll call it 37% of the move in the S&P 500 for the month of June was all Apple. 30% roughly was Microsoft. And Amazon represented 24. So the top three companies represented 90% of the move in the S&P 500 in the month of June. Never in my career, and I've done this 30 years, have I seen something so consolidated. And if you didn't own those companies, you see how quickly things drop off. Now, if you look over to the far right, that's the contribution component. So that's how the math goes. And you can see the larger the company, and this is how the S&P is, it's a weighted index. The majority of companies, stocks in the United States, are trading below their 200-day moving average, which is a very negative thing. Most companies are not doing real well, but you wouldn't know that from looking at the indexes. The indexes are very difficult to comprehend because of these companies where all the money's flowing into them and they're growing. So the larger companies are making the S&P 500, which is a weighted index, move a lot higher. Most stocks are down around 11% year to date. And I just wanted to point this out to you. And I can... Uh, you know, go into greater detail, but I don't want to get too boring. But I wanted to point this out. This was just the month of June, but this is, if I can go back to all these other months, it's pretty much the same for all the other months. A couple other companies would jump in from month to month, but it's a very small number of companies that are moving this market higher. The better way to know how stocks are doing is look at RSP, which is the equal weighted S&P 500, where every company has a contribution of 0.02%. You just multiply that times 500. Thought this was interesting, wanted to share it with you. Hold on one second, please. I wanna show one more thing. This is a chart uh, that I use, uh, Y charts is something we use in the industry. And I just wanted to point out when you look at the S&P 500, the high point for the S&P was 3370, and that was back in February. Then we saw this major drop off. So what moves the market are computers, and we're, you know, computer technology and, and program trading. And we're at 3207 right now. And again, that's because we have these really big companies that are moving this index. Uh, Apple, Amazon, as I just mentioned, Microsoft, Facebook, um, and so on. Facebook didn't make the numbers for the month of June, but it's been a big player throughout the rest of the year. So we look for something called support, and that's if stocks start to drop. So the first support level is 3,009. So when, you, when you're watching things, if it drops below 3,009, we're probably going to see it go down to about 2797. And this is how people look at our industry or look at the stock market. And if it drops below that, the next support level is 2488. That's because there's not a lot of history here and there's not a lot of support underneath these levels. But the, the first level, I believe, would be 3053. And that's about 200 points below where we're at right now on the S&P 500. And you can kind of look at this chart and see that a lot of times you'll see numbers go down, you know, will go down to levels that it was at before, just like here. It went down, went down to the same level, and then it went higher again. Then it went down, went down to the same level, then went higher again. Okay. And this is how computers read the market. Thanks.